where we end up one summer we end up going to costa rica another summer i end up down there we end up meeting one of the chefs right <clears throat> really cool dude um and the next day he wants to let's rent mopeds and he'll show us like where monkeys hide out in the jungles and take us through the town and all the shit that's tight so we go well first off let's rewind oh, <laughs> i was probably 15 maybe 14 years old out here at a resort in the middle of the jungle in mexico trusting, tr- in costa rica trusting some costa random rica. cook i just met right True. right we were yeah. we're making the best choices dicey. But hey, we're here right it's all right it's all good we're here the choices that you make at that age bro like i wish, you know, I, I, wish I could be that age again you gotta live a little bro you gotta just roll the dice baby so we roll the dice and we go and bro so we're on, we're on this moped I'm, I'm riding i'm riding on the back of my buddy's driving matter of fact the cocksucker i live with now this motherfucker's driving dude and i don't know what happened to the road but it like got like crazy right and i'm on this moped we're going downhill like we had to be going at least like 35 40 miles per hour maybe maybe even faster dude and it starts bucking around bro and throws us and i'm telling you i went sailing bro. i went sailing above him hit the ground and i was like rolling damn and i was laying there and because the, the next thing I remember, I'm laying there. And I was like, "Oh fuck!" I'm like, "Am I dead?" Because I was looking up at the sky, and I just hear this fool go, "Get up, dumbass!" <laughs> I was like, "Okay, go, I'm alive." And I got, I was like, "Oh fuck!" He's like, "Come on, hurry up!" And we like, we took off and we went and saw monkeys and shit. But it was like that little crash, and then going and seeing you know these animals and being inside this fucking really like. I can't even explain what the city looked like, bro. Like where where we were, it was like like imagine walking through a jungle and then there's a store all of a sudden, like just right there. Like that's what it looked like. like mangoes, mangoes. That's the type of shit that turns me on, bro. Like I love shit like that. That is I love like rural. Like if I ever go to Hawaii, that's I want to go to like a rural ass place like that i don't want to be on some main island partying and shit i want to go see where they fucking film jurassic park you know like i want to be in on the kayak like going through trees and the mangroves and shit like that you know what i mean like that's the shit i want to do but real quick because you brought up being 15 14 15 in um or costa rica bro i'll never forget i went i was in uh oaxaca with my dad um Mm -hmm. And so where my dad's from is like straight wilderness, but on the like in the mountains, right? And uh, I was out there. We're shooting, hunting, like all this shit. Um, and then I remember we go back to the city of Oaxaca because we're gonna get ready for our flight out the next morning. And uh, um, we're all hyped because we found that there was a Domino's nearby. Now, mind you, we had been eating mountain food for the last two weeks. So, like, eggs and tortillas and goat and deer and not shit that I really always want to eat as a 15-year-old. Sounds good. But, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah I get you. Bro, I, get you. Yeah, like, yeah. I need, the same I need a hamburger, dog. <laughs> I need a pizza, you know? Like, I need something. Yeah, so, yeah, we got yeah. high cheese. Because, yeah, got you. I need a really decent cheese. Uh, but we got hype because uh, we found a Domino's nearby. So we were like, fuck it, let's walk to the Domino's. And I remember being 15, like, I had the sauce, dog. You know, like, let's be real. I was 15, I had the sauce, I had the juice. Um, and we were, walk- we were walking walking down uh, this street, right? And all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, that girl's kind of cute. This girl's kind of We turn on the street, and my stepmom goes, oh, no, we walked down the wrong street. And bro, it's just women at like all these women. And I got I didn't know what the fuck was going on. So I got kind of excited, right? So I'm like walking down this street and I'm just like mouth open, bro. And then this girl grabs me, right? And I'm like, yo, like and then my dad was like, get the fuck over here. And I like kind of like ran over. <laughs> So obviously we know what the fuck kind of street it was, but yeah. I didn't realize it, right? So then my dad pulls me over to the side later on. Like what, he's like, um, I, like if you're ever gonna be out here, I don't want you coming down here. And he's like, I'll bring you when you're older. And that was the end. Damn. Of the yeah. <laughs> that shit was, when she grabbed me, that shit was crazy, dog. I I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Turns out they were all prostitutes. <laughs> 
For the record, though, my dad's never taken me back, so 